If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Welcome to Cuisine with Jean, and we have a professional chef here <laughs> this time. We like to have um, home cooks, uh, which all of us are, of course, but it's really nice to have a, an executive chef who really knows what he's doing. No offense to those of you who have been on who are not executive chefs, but he's gonna kind of teach us some tricks of the trade, which will be really fun. Michael Williams, Director of Food and Beverage at Benvenu Country Club and the executive chef there. So welcome. Thank you, Jean. Thank you for having us. I think you have been, you've done this before, because when I told you kind of the rules for it, you said, oh yeah, clear containers and all this stuff. So tell us I, your background. It's, it's been a really long time. I, uh, I started out, uh, uh, working my way through college and kitchens and then found that I had a, a pretty good knack for it and mm -hmm. uh, decided to change my major and uh, became a, a sous chef at a, several restaurants in Wilmington, North Carolina where I grew up. Um, Great place to be a sous chef. I mean, I, I a really good restaurant. I think you've been to Wilmington once. I live there, twice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I moved to Jacksonville, uh, North Carolina in 2002 uh, to open up a restaurant with my business partner and uh, we had a restaurant there. Uh, I was there about 15 years uh, and then decided to move on. I had three kids and wanted to spend more time with them uh, and being an independent restaurateur. Uh, uh -huh. It's a lot of hours in a day. Uh, so I got back into the private club business. I had dabbled in that a little bit um, in the early 90s uh, and had enjoyed it. And that's what actually drove me towards culinary school. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's, it's been a great fit for me and uh, Rocky Mount's been a great fit for my family. So. Well, and, and I hear you're a great dad. I mean, I, sometimes I've called over there and, and to try and talk to you about this and whatnot. Oh, he's gone to pick up his kids from school. <laughs> that That's real important to you too, isn't it? Uh, it is, it is. I mean, uh, being an independent restaurateur, I mean, uh, if you're closing down the restaurant, you're there sometimes 12, 1, mm -hmm. 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and then if you've got events. And uh, in the private club business, uh, um, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, I've got uh, more time to spend with my family, and uh, I've got a great staff at Benvenu. Um, I've got a, a new sous chef that's doing amazing things. Good. Uh, and a staff um, of some culinary students from uh, the local college and Ash community. Great. And uh, um, we're just we're just really meshing into a fantastic team, and I, I think the membership's really going to appreciate what we've got in store for them. So, Michael, this is the hundredth year anniversary for Benvenu. It Country is. Uh, Benvenu was incorporated uh, by some Rocky Mount locals back in 1922 uh, mm -hmm. to be a sporting club. Um, they've sporting added, club. Okay. They've added golf. I mean, back in the 20s, I mean, they did everything from skeet shooting to uh, they installed a golf course uh, by the fantastic architect Donald Ross, mm -hmm. who is a national, if not world-renowned, golf ar architect. Mm -hmm. um, and it also has tennis. Uh, we have food and beverage, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, banquet facilities uh, for members and their guests to celebrate you know, life's big events. So. Well, and I hear that a, a number of people from out of town, as Raleigh moves this air, the, in this direction, they realize that, that it's a real good deal to play at a, a fantastic golf club or a golf golf course and so we're getting a lot of out-of-town members joining too. Absolutely we've got uh, David Jacobs is our golf course superintendent he's been mm -hmm. with the club for gosh 25 years and uh, him and his team uh, they do an amazing job I mean the golf course is in the best shape it's ever been in. Mm -hmm. um, with our current president Kenneth Burnett um, they've done a huge uh, undertaking by renovating the golf course trying to get back towards the most original version of mm -hmm. Benvenu by uh, revitalizing the bunkers and actually adding some very fairway bunkers and, and making a pretty tough course even tougher. So. Super. Well, I have to tell you, I, you carried, before you got your sous chef, you were working like crazy as the only chef. And we tried to get him on folks earlier, but Michelle Benton, the, the general manager said, poor Michael, <laughs> he's carrying the whole kitchen course with your support staff. But you've just got great food there. Well, thank you so much. Really, um, really good food. Uh, being an independent restaurateur, um, uh, for most of my career, mm -hmm. um, kind of, I brought that philosophy into a private club. Mm -hmm. 
atmosphere. Uh, if you go to an independent restaurant and, uh, you know, it's one of those really fancy, really expensive restaurants and you mm -hmm. ask for something on the side or maybe a different ingredient mm -hmm. and the server kind of looks at you funny. Mm -hmm. We don't do that in a private club. We cater to our members' uh, mm -hmm. wants and needs as much as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you know, if somebody wants sauce on the side or a steak well done with extra ketchup, we say absolutely. Um, but we you also don't laugh when they say with ketchup, right? <laughs> so, no we, offense, folks. <laughs> but we also we also want to make sure that we have you know that club sandwich for uh -huh. the the simple uh, grab and go lunch, and we also want to make it a destination dining experience for those members that don't want to have to drive all the way to Raleigh or all the way to the beach to get mm -hmm. a fantastic meal. So. Well, and good seafood. And speaking of which, salmon is one of your real signature dishes, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, it's uh, one of a uh, Benvenu staples. Uh, it's a go-to. We also do a lot of fresh seafood at Benvenu, but the salmon is is one of the top top sellers and that's why we're going to showcase that today. So. Okay, well let's get started. You're going to start with dessert. Do you like that folks? Start with dessert. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. We're going to make a, a simple uh, creme brulee. Uh, we call it a dream sickle creme brulee because it's got a little bit of vanilla and orange. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start with uh, some heavy cream that we've brought to a scald. And what that means is we brought it just under a boil. Um, cream will go quick. It'll start to bubble and it'll overflow. So make sure you mm -hmm. keep an eye on that. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla bean paste. You could use vanilla extract. You could use a vanilla bean pod. Uh, we use paste in the kitchen because it's just easier for us to work with since we use a lot of it. Do you you'll, buy it as paste? We do, we do. And you'll find that uh, in the grocery stores like Harris Teeter, uh, Walmart, that kind of stuff, they'll have vanilla bean pods, but they're quite expensive. So mm -hmm. don't be afraid to use pure vanilla extract or even um, imitation vanilla, but mm -hmm. you know, the best you can afford is always a good thing to go with uh, when you're doing any kind of cooking. So. I want to ask something. I was making blueberry muffins last night, and I had some eggs that best by the end of October and then best by the end of September. Does it make a difference if you use fresher eggs? I mean, can you taste the difference? I think you can. Uh, I use a lot of local organic stuff as much as I can. Uh, we partner with local farmers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, one of the major farmers that we farm, uh, we focus on is uh, Lake Valley Farms, mm -hmm. uh, which is on the way to Tarboro. Uh, Chauncey Leggett does a fantastic job. He takes a lot of pride in what he does um, and his produce and also his eggs uh, mm -hmm. really showcase that. Um, so what we've also added is we've got our egg yolks and you'll see the recipe. Um, we'll go through these, it's gonna be six yolks. This recipe is gonna yield Depending on the size of your container, we've got a pretty good size container here. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to yield anywhere from four to six. So we've got our yolks. We've got our white sugar. How much is that? Uh, the white sugar is a quarter cup. Okay. Uh, scalding, we have two cups of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I didn't have it on the recipe listed, but I always add a little bit of salt to anything sweet it kind of gives it that balance. And what kind of salt is that? that so looks... this is uh, Maldon sea salt. Uh, we work with a lot of sea salt in the restaurant. Um, kosher salt is always best. I usually don't cook with iodized salt. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, mom said not to. Oh, okay. <laughs> always trust mom. Gotcha. Uh, no, uh, usually in commercial kitchens you'll always use uh, kosher salt. Um, mm -hmm. Usually the only thing we use iodized salt for is uh, table salt. Mm -hmm. um, we use it for salting like tortilla chips because it's a finer salt or sometimes we'll just use um, fine sea salt. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also a good tool to put out a fire. Oh, okay. We're all into putting out fires, aren't we? Right. <laughs> Don't start them to start with, but okay, right. so you're beating that together. So yes, we've uh, incorporated our eggs and our sugar and we're just gonna beat it until it starts to become pale. Mm -hmm. And then once that becomes pale, we're gonna add our scalded cream. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to temper it, so we're going to add a little bit at a time. Well, and, and folks, that's a good tip because if you dumped it all in at once, it would cook the egg yolks. Excellent. You would have scrambled so, eggs, absolutely. So, so we're going to temper it a little bit at a time. That's chef talk. Temper it is that chef talk. Temper it, yes. We want to <laughs> raise the temperature slowly. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember learning that the hard way. If you go ahead and dump hot into egg yolks, you cook them and then they never blend. Exactly. The same thing is uh, when we cook this in a water bath. If we didn't use a water bath, the eggs would scramble and the texture would be not what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. It still tastes good. Mm -hmm. It would just have a, a different texture. Oh, I can smell that vanilla. That's really nice. All right. So now we've got that incorporated and we're going to take our microplane or zester. Mm -hmm. We're going to zest a little bit of orange zest in here too. Now, if you've added your cream too quickly and it has kind of curdled a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. scrambled your eggs, you can also take a fine mesh strainer and just kind of strain that back out um, and then add your zest. But you want to add your zest last 
so that way you have it in the finished product. Mm -hmm. So and it's going to add to the texture. Um, you can smell that orange oil coming out already. Uh huh. And you don't want to get down into the white. Of no, the we don't want to get into the pith. We uh -huh. want to stay just into the fine zest. Mm -hmm. I like that zester. I was trying to zest something the other day without one of those, and it was harder. It very. very. I was so using a carrot peeler and trying to get the white. You know, not get the get the the you know just the the just the colored parts. What you want. Yes, microplanes are a kitchen staple. Um, when I trained in Italy, um, the Italian chef told me that every time he makes a trip to the United States, he loads up an empty suitcase full of microplanes because they couldn't find them in Italy. So interesting. Um, so we're gonna transfer this into a container to make it easier to pour. Okay. And then in the recipe, it'll say that we're gonna put this in a water bath. So we're gonna actually put your dishes inside of a baking pan. A cake pan's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, something that's gonna be taller than your dish. Then you add your dish to it. We're gonna. Fill up our dish about three quarters of the way. And how high up would the water be in the, the water? water at least half. And usually half. what I do is a tea kettle. Uh -huh. So that way I have nice, nice hot water. And what that is, is it's going to slowly bring up the temperature of the uh, custard, because that's what we're making here is a custard. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to slowly bring up the temperature. Let me just move this out of the way. Okay. And that's going to help the, uh, the cooking process. Mm -hmm. um, and as you'll see, there's, we've got a little bubbles on top. Mm -hmm. The easiest way to pop these bubbles, because if they pop while they're cooking, they'll actually brown and caramelize. We don't want that to happen. We want a nice, even. I saw it. Short. Yeah. So you're going to want to do that before you cook it? Before we cook it, we're just popping the bubbles. Popping the bubbles, okay. Wow, and those are, those are neat little tools. You can buy those, Williams-Sonoma, all sorts of places, can't you? Amazon, Williams-Sonoma, Target will have these. Um, in the kitchen, we use the industrial ones. We just mm -hmm. go to Lowe's and get the big camping butane, and then the plumbing torches, and those work great mm -hmm. for, for lighting ovens or, or popping bubbles on creme brulee, something delicate as well. And are you going to caramelize it at the end with that too? So you use that again at the end? Absolutely, yes Okay, okay. We're going to take a break and then we're going to do the salad and the salmon while this bakes. Great. Stay with us. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. Okay, so the creme brulee is on the way. Again, this is Michael Williams, the executive chef and director of food and beverage at Benvenu Country Club. Um, I'm learning a lot from you already. And I, you know, one of the things that I'm really glad you talked to people about adding hot to eggs. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people have learned that the hard way. Exactly. And hopefully you can avoid it. So you're going to do a salad with the salmon? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so we serve a lot of salmon at the club. Um, and what we have here is a uh, beautiful Faroe Island salmon. Um, some people get put off by farm raised salmon, but uh, uh, in the business we call it sustainable mm -hmm. or aquacultured. But you can get uh, in season, you know, your fresh. Uh, um, Atlantic salmon uh, is going to be from Chile, which is aquaculture to farm raised, but uh, mm -hmm. most of what you're going to find in the United States is wild caught. It's going to be Alaskan salmon. 
So here we have our Scottish Faroe Island salmon, which is cultivated. Uh, we've seasoned it with a little bit of toasted fennel, cracked pepper, and sea salt. Oh, yeah. And it, it's important for salmon to be really fresh, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and we've placed it what we call um, bone side down or presentation side down. Mm -hmm. You'll see here you'll have a little bit of the brown, and that's the fat layer from the skin. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we are doing, we're going to sear the side. We're not going to touch it. We're not going to shake the pan or anything. We're going to let the heat do its work, uh, and it's going to crisp up that salmon side. Uh, and make it nice and brown. We call that the Maillard reaction. That's the fancy word for browning something in a pan. And you always take off the skin. You uh, well, you can leave the skin on on salmon. It's actually delicious. Uh -huh. uh, but for this, uh, and especially in this area, a lot of people don't like skin on their salmon. Uh, there mm -hmm. are several species of fish that will leave the skin on. But uh, mm -hmm. normally in a restaurant, salmon, salmon uh, for this, for a salad, I would take the skin off. And that's a pretty thick fillet. Can you cook it just without putting any top on it or anything, just cooking it on each side? You can right now. We've got medium high heat. We're going to turn it down to medium. Mm -hmm. um, we can let this go in the pan for medium rare to medium. I would say about four minutes a side. Mm -hmm. Or you could take it, since you've already got your oven on with your creme brulee, you can gently slide this into the oven with your creme brulee uh, and let that go. Um, a chef a long time ago told me if you ever smell salmon cooking, you've overcooked it. Mm -hmm. um, but some people do enjoy their salmon well. I prefer mine about medium. And that's kind of the, the best way to enjoy the flavors is medium, isn't it? I think so, yes, in my yeah. opinion. Uh -huh. yeah, but everybody, you, know, you cook to your taste, so uh -huh. cook for your crowd. Um, and, and if and you, you like always a rare steak, people. make a rare steak. If you like a medium well steak, mm -hmm. make a medium well steak. And so that's, that's something that a, a, the wait staff at Bimini would always say, how do you like your salmon How would you like it prepared? Because everybody's pa tastes are different. Yeah. Okay. So while this is cooking, we're going to go ahead and simmer the, the vinaigrette for the dressing. Okay. Uh, so we've got some uh, apple cider vinegar. And again, the recipes will be on the website, Cuisine with Jean. Do that. We're going to add a little bit of our Dijon mustard. And we're going to give that a quick whisk. And combination of those is always a, a winner, isn't it? Well, this is going to help create our emulsification. Mm -hmm. um, oil, and, oil and water don't stick, uh, so the mustard is going to help the vinegar and the oil stick. So we've mm -hmm. added uh, a little bit of uh, chopped garlic. Uh, a little bit more of our seasoning for our salmon because we want our flavors to be incorporated. And what is the seasoning? It looks like. So this is toasted fennel, toasted black pepper, and co or, excuse me, sea salt. Oh, yum. Toasted. Okay. So now that we've got this going, we're going to add our oil a little bit at a time. You've got to keep whisking it pretty much yeah. to get it. Yeah, so you want your most, you could do this in a blender, you could use this with a, a hand blender, like a, a sick blender, mm -hmm. would be great. Uh, but for this, we're just looking for a quick and easy vinaigrette. You found we've got it. about half our oil in there. We're going to go ahead and add our, our uh, balancing ingredients. So our vinegar is quite tart, or bright is what we say in the kitchen. So we're going to add a little bit of maple syrup. It's going to incorporate a fall flavor oh, as good. well as uh, sweeten up that vinegar a little bit. And that um, maple would taste really good with the salmon. I mean, that's a great idea. Absolutely. You could even use a little bit of this vinaigrette to glaze the salmon if you'd like. Uh-huh. Okay, so we've got our vinaigrette together. Okay. All right, we're going to move this to the side. And combination of greens? So this is a, a mixed green. You could use arugula, you could use baby kale. Mm -hmm. um, anything that you're finding local at the farmer's market uh, here in Rocky Mount, I believe it's Tuesdays and Saturdays. Uh, my local farmer delivers to me on Wednesday. Good. <laughs> uh, so we're going to move this out of the way. Okay. And the salmon is sizzling along? It is. All right, and to our greens. We've got our apples. We've tossed these in a little bit of cinnamon, and that's going to help keep them from browning. And it's going to add the cinnamon element to it. Uh, in the recipe, we have the cinnamon into the vinaigrette, um, but for the sake of television, mm -hmm. I've decided to do it this way. And the All vinaigrette, right. again, would also keep them turning brown, too. They, it right? would, it would. All right, we've got a little bit of dried cranberry. We're going to oh, add yeah. some of that. This is especially good thinking in terms of a fall recipe, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Now, we've got our salty ingredient, and this is going to actually add some fat as well. So we've got some beautiful crumbled goat cheese. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of goats in North Carolina. I know the Siler City has goats. Mm -hmm. Have you ever? Uh, in the mountains as well, too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Absolutely. And then here we've got some nice candied walnuts. We just dusted these with a little bit of cayenne pepper, some brown sugar, and a little bit of butter, and toasted them in the oven. Mm-hmm. Right. Boy, this sounds like a feast. So to that. And you always toss it ahead of time. What if somebody says, you know, it, um, dress it on the side? 
Uh, we can serve that on the side, but this is, we, we call this a composed salad. Mm -hmm. uh, normally at the club we would serve our dressings on the side so that way people can control the amount, especially with everybody's health. Mm -hmm. um, these days, you know, wanting to uh, control their, their portions on fat and cholesterol and all that kind of stuff. So. But that's a really healthy, healthy dressing, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely, because we're using a, a natural sugar, which is the maple, mm -hmm. uh, instead of a processed sugar. Okay. Has that been four minutes to flip I the... I believe so. Okay. You can see we've got Ooh, some nice caramelization there. That's beautiful, Michael. Mmm. And, and so it's finishing, we'll go ahead and plate. And so four minutes on each side is sufficient um, to have it be medium. Absolutely, absolutely. If you like it a little bit less rare, um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, of uh, salmon either raw as sushi or uh, closer to medium. Um, in between, uh, the texture is uh, what does it for me. I'm also a medium rare steak guy. I can't do a rare steak, I'm a chef. I know I'm supposed to like everything. Well, now, if you're doing sushi salmon, you have to buy a totally different grade, don't you? Uh, well, it's, it's technically not the grade. You always want the freshest fish, um, but in North Carolina, I believe the health code for serving sushi uh, is most fish, especially um, with any kind of foodborne illness that can be construed to a, a seafood mm. species, mm -hmm. um, most fish is frozen beforehand to kill any bacteria. So. Oh, really? Okay. Absolutely. One time I was doing a cooking show in Wilmington on mm -hmm. live TV, and I said to this chef from Polly's Island, I said, do you get frozen fish, or do you always buy it um, fresh? And he said, well, it's fresh, but it's not as fresh as the fly that's eating it right now. And in the TV studio, there was a fly oh right there on his fish. That was a little bit awkward, um, to say the least. But anyway. So perfect. Now, our salmon is done. Oh, that just looks wonderful. Gonna, I wish pat this on a clean towel. Just to remove any extra oil from the pan. I'm just going to plate that right on top. Wow, that's just that's just the best of all worlds because it's healthy, it's flavorful. It's now if you weren't doing this in the fall, are there any changes that you made because of the fall season? Absolutely, you could do a spring salad. You could do you know some fresh baby spinach greens, mm -hmm. uh, some fresh berries. Again, uh, more cheese. You could do orange segments would be a great one. Oh yeah. Um, for some citrus, some, another fall version would be doing orange and grapefruit or even blood orange. Pomegranate seeds are a nice touch. Um, you could do some shaved carrots. We get some beautiful carrots from our friend Chauncey at Lake Valley Farms. We get a, a rainbow assortment that we use at the club, um, and they're nice and tender, and they just add that, that color pop. So. And do you change the menu with some frequency? At we change menu? it seasonally. Every quarter we change the menu to, to fluctuate with the seasons. So. Okay, great. Gosh, well, we're going to take a break, and we're going to taste it. Yum. <laughs> Stay with us. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. This looks fantastic. Um, oh, thank wow. you, Jim. You know, I want to mention that if, if people 
want to eat there and they're not a member, they can find a member and be the guest or? Absolutely, absolutely. Members bring guests and uh, you, a lot of those times when the guests come and experience what the club has to offer with all the athletics, uh, the pool, the tennis facilities and you know the dining, um, it's uh, just a great place to be in Rocky Mountain, a great community to be involved with. So. Mm -hmm. And you, it, you don't have trouble getting reservations. You can basically always get in and Perfect. Yep. call ahead of time and, and have wonderful food. Sunday lunch, you have always kind of a brunch, a really nice brunch for after church. We, we do. Uh, Pre-pandemic, we had a big buffet, which we'll bring back at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we do uh, an a la carte lunch with a couple of brunchy features, and mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're starting to get that crowd back in, so it's, it's okay, good. nice to see. But yeah, call somebody who's a member and ask them to take you and, and let you try it. So may we taste this? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh wow, Michael, this looks wonderful. Mm. So the salmon's nice and flaky. Uh, the salmon's rich, full of omega-3 fatty acids. Aspals are nice and crisp texture. Wow. That is wonderful. Mm, 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 mm. And the compliment to these two dishes is that the toasted fennel has this anise flavor mm -hmm. and the anise pairs great with this orange. Mm -hmm. We've mm. already relayed this off screen, but we garnished it with a little bit of dehydrated orange slices just for presentation. We uh, keep a herb garden in the back of the restaurant, so we've got some purple basil. And we caramelize the creme brulee with a little bit of demurra sugar. Our what kind of sugar? Demurra. What's that? Sugar in the raw. Oh, you okay. You see these little brown sugar packets? So it's mm -hmm. just a, a larger crystal sugar. And then with our blue torch, we just gently torch it. We want it to caramelize without burn. Creme brulee translates to burnt sugar, mm -hmm. but we really don't want to burn the sugar. And you have a variety of different types of creme brulee. I noticed there are different flavors of it on the menu, and we caught you with food in your mouth, didn't <laughs> Ab we? <laughs> absolutely. Um, uh, my sous chef, John Papa, uh, uh -huh. has been doing a great job. Uh, we had uh, some beautiful beets, and he's like, how about we make a, a beet brulee, chef? And I was like, beet brulee? absolutely, because beets are naturally sweet, and uh, most people that don't like beets have only had canned beets, but yeah. fresh beets are delicious, and uh, the beautiful color, mm -hmm. as long as the natural earthy sweetness was a great compliment. So. May I taste this one? Oh yeah, help yourself. Okay. You can you can taste it too if you want to. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. You can really taste the orange. You can taste the orange. And I like the larger um, sugar granules because it's crunchy. It gives mm -hmm. kind of a crunchiness to it. So there are not many things much better than creme brulee. Wow. And um, so beet, you know, roasted beets though. How, if, do you do roasted, you do some root vegetables there too, we, don't we you? We do, we actually, uh, we roast them, but we also do a technique that we call sous vide, uh, which is a more modern cooking technique. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually will season the beets and put them in a vacuum seal bag, submerge them in a water bath and cook them at about 185 degrees for about an hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. They get fork tender and just that natural sugar just concentrates into the beets and it becomes quite sweet. So. Mm. Thanks to Benvenu for all you do for the community. Y'all host a lot. You do a lot of philanthropic th stuff. You have angel trees. You have various auctions there helping people and whatnot and are just a great Ab great members of the community. Absolutely. But between the uh, the members um, and everything that they do in the community and as well as the staff, mm -hmm. we get together every year and we plan a couple of events to where we can help um, with the community as well. And golf fundraisers, um, all sorts of things. Uh, we've got the pit tournament coming up and mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a big one for us. Um, and then uh, we did a program event too uh, to where we had uh, golfers from all over North Carolina come and play. So that was a, a nice event for us. Oh, yeah. Michael, thank you. Thank My you. pleasure, Jean. This thank wonderful, you. remember the website, Cuisine with Jean. See you next week. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount.